Oh my god. I got a new Collective Arts glass. It's not an IPA glass, but Collective Arts is back in the cabinet, and I'm very, very excited about that. And no, just because you read the title, I'm not going soft on you guys either. Beer, 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 this is a not beer. Hello everybody, welcome back to me, Mate Brewski, for another Brewski Brewski review. But today is not a beer review, but it is made by a brewery. This is a new drink from Collective Arts. I think it was just released in the past couple days as of recording, being July 19th. Yesterday, me and, and five other friends, we did a big road trip. And we did stop off at Collective Arts for drinks and dinner. You can go check out that vlog right about here. But the thing we have today, Collective Arts is doing something a little different. They're bringing out a new kind of drink for you guys. It's a Collective Sparkling Hard Tea. Now, not like your typical Mike's, uh, not Mike's Hard Lip, but like Twisted Ice Tea kind of thing. This is real tea, real good tea, like herbaceous tea. And this is a mango pineapple fruited tea, which is pretty damn cool. 5% alcohol by volume, no listed IBUs. I don't think those apply to teas or to tea-based drinks. So yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a tea, but it's sparkling and it has fruits in it. Mango pineapple on this one, 5% alcohol by volume. Like I said, no IBUs, because I don't know if IBUs apply to this, but I'm pretty excited. Flavored alcoholic beverage in a little 355 ml can. Don't really know what it's about. I didn't try one when I was at the brewery. I had another beer, which I will be doing in the, in the near future. So, let's crack this bad boy open. Let's see what we got. I'm kind of, kind of intrigued by it. I've never seen sparkling teas before. I'm guessing the, this is supposed to sort of compete with your uh, your sparkling, your you know your hard seltzer sort of things, but on on a, on a different kind of note. So we're gonna pour it into our little cup glass here from Collective Arts, brand new. First drink going in here. Well, that's a pretty color. To about half the tea. Whoa, the aroma on that is really nice. Holy, let's look at it. So yeah, looks sort of like pop. In a sense, or like, or like some other sparkling beverage, definitely more effervescent than, than beer. <clears throat> but a beautiful pink, light rosé color, extremely clear. But the aroma off that is just phenomenal. I, I, it hasn't even come into contact with my face yet. And I can still smell it. So I think that's a good sign. Let's have a smell. That smells like tea. Like fruited tea. Very herbally. Yeah, herbally fresh. I think it's a white tea that's in here, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, herbal tea, which is mango, pineapple, elderberry, orange, apple, rose hip, and hibiscus. Okay, so it's an herbal tea based, which is pretty cool. You got a pretty cool can design on here as well. But yeah, mango and pineapple coming through really beautifully with a nice, just, you know, typical fresh tea tea note as well. Shit, let's dive in. That's actually, whoa. Whoa now. Whoa now. That is, that is refreshing. That is not only flavorful as all hell, refreshing as all hell, but it's not overly sweet but it's a lot, lot better than any hard seltzer that I've ever had thus far. The flavors are true, not really medicinally at all. Beautiful tea characteristics, and then the nice just sweetness of the mango and the pineapple and everything else in here. Ooh, baby. This is a stellar drink so far. So with that said, guys, in this case, Crack a tea and enjoy, but like I always say, crack a beer and enjoy. Cheers. Let's keep on drinking. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. Now I'm a I'm a lover of beer. 
100%. You know this. Everybody knows this about me. But Collective Arts, with this sparkling tea, I can get down on this. I'm not even a tea drinker. I like my iced teas, like a, like a nice iced black tea sort of thing with a little bit of lemon going on in there. Even like raspberry iced tea, I'm not a big fan. But this right here, this is changing the game. This is the only tea that I think I've ever loved this much, other than, you know, typical, regular, good old iced tea. Damn. Damn. And it is sweet, but not overly sweet. It's just the right amount of sweetness, especially for me. I'm not a big fan of overly sweet drinks anymore as I'm getting older, and this is the perfect amount of sweetness. Not medicinally at all. Carbonated like more or less any other sort of carbonated drink not to a high high degree not to a very low degree Just a beautiful just when you think sparkling water sparkling whatever you're getting it right here Not aggressive though, then it's It's overly refreshing on these hot ass days that we've been having like the, the humid disgusting the high 30s low 40s days. Oh my god. This would just be a godsend on those kind of days You can slam these back too. If you're into that sort of thing, definitely a go-to. But I can see a lot of people getting behind something like this. Better than any White Claw bullshit I've ever had. If you're not a fan of beer but still want to support the Collective Arts community, definitely a solid option. And even if you don't like hard seltzers but want something a little bit more true flavored, this is a game changer. Collective Arts, you did a damn good job. Let's see what the can has to say for itself. Mango and pineapple, sparkling hard teas. Flavored alcoholic beverage, 5% alcohols by volume, so you're not even sacrificing any alcohol percentage there too, which is cool. Ingredients, water, alcohol, herbal tea, which is mango, pineapple, elderberry, orange, apple, rosehip, and hibiscus. Citric acid and natural flavors. Art is done by Thiago... Taipan Thipan from Brazil. Sorry if I butchered your name, but That is some great artwork very simple very geometric, but just flows with the rest of the can beautiful stuff And on the bottom for a canned on date We got oh, it's actually a oh, we got both we got a canned on date of the 16th of July So that was three days ago and wow. Okay. Yeah, super fresh and best before 16th of July 2021. So it looks like they have a year shelf life. So that's pretty damn good. Year shelf life? I'm good. And you get both. You get both a canned on and best before collective arts. Man, what are you trying to do? What are you what are you trying to do? You trying to hit on me or something? This is This is just too much. This is great. Holy shit. I I honestly didn't think I was gonna love it this much. That is, that is mind, mind blowingly delicious. On the website, collectiveartsbrewing.com, you actually have to go under the spirit section to find these sparkling hard teas. They also have two other ones. Um, I forget what they are off the top of my head, but you will be seeing them after this video. Uh, not too much information on the website, funny enough. Mango and pineapple sparkling hard tea. Bottle size, 355 ml can. Availability, this is the one thing that I'm kind of bummed out about. It's not in the LCBO yet. But you can do doorstep delivery, or if you go down to the brewery, you can pick one up there. Uh, they only come in singles, and the flavors are mango and pineapple. There is also a description that reads, We kept things simple and succulent with the mango and pineapple sparkling hard tea. Made with 100% caffeine-free herbal tea, blended with the perfect mix of tropical fruits by Genuine Tea, proving that you don't need the added sugar to get the sweet. And damn straight, you don't need any more sugar in this, um, because yeah, it's at that perfect sweetness where you get it, it's not too bland, and it's not overly in your face. This is just a perfect, balanced drink right here. Nothing on untapped because, well, it technically isn't beer, um, so can't, can't find it there. But if you do want to pick up these cans from 
uh, Collective Arts, either online or um, or at the uh, brewery itself. You can pick them up for how much? Let's see. Let's see what the teas are sitting at. We are sitting at mango and pineapple. Looks like for a two four of them, it's sixty four ninety five. But I think they were two ninety five. Um, picking them up singly. And they also have four packs. It looks like for ten ninety five as well. So yeah, a bit of variety. You can get them in singles at the brewery. It seems like online you can only get a four pack as the smallest for ten ninety five, but two fours are sixty four ninety five. A little up there in price, um, I guess, because because the, they are smaller cans. But then again, they're damn delicious. So you can't go wrong there. I'm so excited about these things. Holy shit! I never thought I'd be saying that about an alcoholic tea. Funny how how things work out, isn't it? Jeez, with that said, guys, cheers on the final sip. All this great trainings and wrap this thing up. Collective Arts Mango and Pineapple Hard Sparkling Tea. Ah, man, if you get... if you, These are brand new, so I don't even know how the markets could react to it. But get these in the LCBO as soon as possible and push out that White Claw BS because people deserve a lot better than that crap. And this right here, I haven't tried the other two yet, but if it's if they're going along the same lines as this, with the with the beautiful um, flavor intensity, not too intense, not too bland. Ooh, you're gonna be giving those white claws a run for their money because ooh, geez, it's hitting the spot. It's five percent. It's light, but it's flavorful, and it's just it's just so well done. It is just so well done. It's blowing my mind. I can't even get, I can't even put this in the beer section because this it's it's a whole other animal. I gotta make a new playlist for this. I gotta make a new playlist. This is amazing. This is damn good. Sparkling hard tea, mango and pineapple. Solid. Geez, solid like like a nine seven out of ten. Oh my god, this is amazing. I never thought I'd be saying that about 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 uh, sparkling alcoholic beverages. Never thought I'd be saying that. Collective Arts, you always just seem to, I don't know, you always just seem to blow me away with, with a lot of the things that you do. Holy jeez. Holy jeez. Great stuff. Great, great stuff. As for presentation, do love the can design. Very simplistic, yet effective. Like how you list the ingredients on there and the ABV. No IBUs, so that's not a real thing with sparkling teas, I guess. Um, no description on the specific can, but on the website there is a description. On the bottom, the best part though, big, clearly labeled, canned on, and best before date. Great, great stuff. Presentation deserves a solid, a solid, mm, solid, Nine out of 10 for me. Before I leave you guys, if you have any comments, questions, or beers, or any other drinks you want me to try, leave all that information, leave all that information down in the comment box below. If you want to go ahead and like this video or subscribe to me, Mate Bruce, it would be greatly appreciated as well. And with all that said, that's gonna do it for me, Mate Bruce. Like I always say, crack a beer, or in this case, crack a hard tea, and enjoy. Cheers. Oh my god, I'm surprising myself with these hard teas. This is absolutely delicious. Cheers.